Hey family, welcome back to Transcend with Ebony. It's Ebony here dropping by with another quick message. Welcome back, everyone. If this happens to be your first time here, welcome to the family. And if you happen to be listening on the podcast, welcome to another episode. I hope everyone is doing well today. I just have a quick message for someone. For the particular person that this message is for, you were seeing someone, you may have even been married to someone, um, and this individual constantly accused you of cheating however you never cheated on this person you were faithful you were loyal um you did everything that a spouse should do to the best of your ability you were always there um you know you always put your your relationship in high regard however this individual always seemed for whatever reason for one reason or another to accuse you of being unfaithful and at first, you you know, you may have defended yourself or tried to defend yourself and, you know, explain, you know, I wouldn't do this to you. I wouldn't do that to you, so on and so forth. And then you sit back and you say, you know what? I'm not explaining myself anymore. My actions should speak for me already as it is. See, the fact of the matter is you wasn't cheating on them. You just decided to learn to be faithful to God. You just decided to learn to stop cheating on God with them. Because this individual loved to live a sinful life. This individual had bad habits that they would impose on you. They would draw you away from the Lord. Every time you would try and get closer to the Lord, they tried to impede on that. Every time you tried to get closer to the Lord, they tried to throw something out there to tempt you. For example, let's just say you a person that you had a bad habit, right? Um, whether that was it could let me just say, for example, smoking or um, going out or it is some type of bad habit in general. And you sought the Lord for deliverance of that. You, you didn't want to do that anymore, though it was hard for you to break away, though it was hard for you to change. You were determined to do so. And you began to seek God more. You began to build a more and more intimate relationship with God. You began to surrender to the Lord. And in doing so, he was delivering you from these things. And during this process, every time you were around this individual, you would find that, let's just say, again, let's just use as an example, your um, your bad habit was smoking. Let's just say your bad habit was smoking cigarettes. And you hadn't smoking, smoked cigarettes for, you know, maybe a few days, a week. You know, you were doing good. You were making progress. God was working in you. You were allowing God to do that work in you. And all of a sudden, you see this individual and they're handing you a cigarette. Knowing, knowing full on well that this is something that you've been working to break, knowing that this is something that you've been working on letting go, knowing that this is something that you've been working on changing about yourself, they would push you to do things that they know were ungodly, that they know that you were trying to stop, that they know were not good for you. They wanted you to do these things. Let's just say, you know, um, you used to go certain places. And then, as we all know, once you start surrendering to the Lord, your desires start to change. Your appetite starts to change. And I don't mean just for food. I mean, your taste in everything. The things that you used to do, you don't want to do them anymore. The people that you used to hang around, you don't desire to hang around them anymore. The places that you used to go and hang out, you don't desire to go hang out in them places anymore. Certain things that you just no longer like to do. However, this individual would always pressure you to go and do these things. And you find yourself like at a, at a war, you know, within because you know what you should be doing. You know what God is leading you to do. But then this person is pushing you and dragging on you, pulling you to try and go get you to do the very opposite. And it got to the point to where you say, you know what? Forget that. I see that they are detrimental to my walk in Christ. They are detrimental to my progress. They are detrimental to my transformation because 
they want to hold me back. They want to pull me down. They're not trying to push me forward. They're not trying to walk forward with me. They're not trying to change. They're okay with being who they are, where they are, and not seeking anything more. They're okay living for the world. And I am not feeling that. I don't have the same desire. I don't have the desires to do so. I desire more in life. I know that God has more for me. And in seeking him, he is leading me to that. He is changing me from the inside out, just as I've been praying for. And all the while, I can see clearly that he is changing me and transforming me and my life from the inside out. This individual is trying to do the exact opposite. So I have to let them go. See, so all the while, they thought you was cheating on them. Mm -mm. You wasn't cheating on him. But you learn to stop cheating on God with him. You learn to start being faithful to God. You learn how the true meaning of seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and allowing these things to be added unto you. You learn the true meaning of transformation. You started to to get revelation and, and understanding and clarity uh, as to what was going on in your life. And you started to see that God was separating the, the wheat from the tear. And you started to surrender to God. And in doing so, of course, you were changing up. Of course, you were acting different because you were becoming a new creature in Christ. You were becoming a new creation in Christ. And this individual couldn't stand it. But that just tell you that they weren't for you from the beginning. Because if they were for you from the beginning, then they would have encouraged you in the Lord. They would have encouraged you to seek God. They would have encouraged you to become healthier. They would have encouraged you to to stop these habits. You know, if it's something that you said that you were trying to stop and it was hard for you to stop, they would have made sure that these things were not around you, even if it was something that they were still struggling with, if they truly loved you to begin with. This person was accusing you of cheating by, because they were projecting their own insecurities onto you. And for someone specifically, this person was cheating on you. This person was cheating on you the entire time, the entire relationship. So that alone made them even more insecure when it came to you. Because in their mind, if they were cheating, you had to be too. If they were laying up with somebody else, you had to be too. Because this person, they don't understand life the way you understand life. And I'm not saying that either of you are better than the other. But at the same time, for this particular person, you two had different backgrounds growing up. So you you both saw life through a completely different lens. So you, you know, you're all about faithfulness, loyalty, building together, growing together. This person was not. This person was simply about self. What they had to gain, what they had to lose. How could they benefit? They wanted their cake and ate it too, and now they're eating alone. All that time they thought you were cheating on them. When in reality, you just learn to stop cheating on God with them. You learn to be faithful to God and they didn't like it. And they got left behind because in being faithful to God, God revealed to you who they truly were. So I just prayed this quick message, blessing someone and encourages someone. I love you all. God loves you all. God bless you all. Talk to you soon. Till next time.